There are various types of earthing arrangements that you'll come across when working as an electrician in the UK. We're here at the Isle of Wight College. We're going to discuss in a little bit more detail the characteristics of these earthing arrangements. Hi Ryan, how you doing? Oh yeah, you alright? Yeah, very good. So working in the electrical industry, what are the most common types of earthing arrangements that you come across? The most common types are probably TNS, mm -hmm. TNCS and TT systems. Okay, so let's start with TNS. What are the general characteristics of a TNS? So a TNS, which is a terra neutral separate, is from the transformer distribution all the way to the consumer's installation. Mm -hmm. The neutral, which is known as neutral, and the terra, known as the earth, is separate. Okay. In a TNS arrangement, the earth and neutral are separate conductors from the distribution transformer up to the consumer's installation. The supply earth is normally the metallic sheath or armour of the supply cable. This arrangement is common in older houses. For this type of earthing arrangement, the DNO will in most circumstances declare an expected maximum external earth fault loop impedance of 0.8 ohms. This system may be identified by looking at the supply cable below the service head. The earthing conductor is often clamped to the metallic sheath or armour of the supply cable. So you mentioned a TNCS earthing arrangement. Can you give me a little bit more detail about the characteristics of a TNCS earthing arrangement? TNCS stands for Terra Neutral Combined and Separated. This is from the distributor's transformer. The cable then goes to the consumer's installation as one. Once it then reaches the consumer's installation, the earth and the neutral are then separated. So you've got one conductor that runs from the transformer right to the consumer's installation that serves the purpose of neutral and earth and at the consumer's installation they split that so you've got one side for earth and continue the neutral. In a TNCS arrangement the earth and neutral are combined in the same conductor from the distribution transformer up to the consumer's installation. In this arrangement as the supply neutral is also used as the earth conductor it is called a pen conductor. This stands for protective earth and neutral. Once the electrical supply is terminated into the service head, the pen conductor is split into two terminals. One is neutral, the other is earth. This is the most common earthing arrangement in the UK. It is also called PME, protective multiple earth, because it could have more than one source of earth electrode along the length of the buried supply cable in the street. For this system, the DNO will declare an expected maximum external earth fault loop impedance of 0.35 ohms. The system may be identified by looking at the DNO service head. If the earth conductor comes from inside the service head, it is likely to be PME. So lastly, you mentioned a, a TT earthing arrangement. Can you give me a little bit more information about the characteristics of a TT earthing arrangement? TT stands for Terra Terra. This is where from the distributor's facility through to the consumer's installation, there is not a separate earth. So the consumer's earth is from the general mass of earth. So that can come from a rod in the ground made of copper or a copper mat. Okay, so the, the distributor doesn't supply a separate conductor. The consumer relies on, like you say, the general mass of earth. And that would be through connection to a copper rod or a copper matting in the ground to the main earthing terminal in the consumer's installation. In some cases, due to cost or practicality, the DNO will not provide an earth and the responsibility lies with the consumer to provide this in the form of an earth electrode. The two wire supply to this type of installation will normally be carried via overhead cables. This arrangement is more common in rural areas where transformers are mounted on poles serving one or two dwellings. In a TT arrangement, the earth conductor is connected from the consumer unit to an earth electrode that has been driven into the ground. External earth fault loop impedance values can vary significantly depending on many factors, but values of less than 200 ohms are regarded as stable. For this type of arrangement, we rely on the general mass of earth to carry fault current between the earth electrode at the consumer's installation and the distributor's transformer. Problems can arise when the ground freezes in winter or dries out in summer. Keeping the impedance less than 200 ohms will improve stability.